Black Dyke Fishery again. I know this is the third third video in a row going there, but um, I'm really enjoying it. It's a fantastic fishery, and uh, I'm just desperate to catch a large trout, and there's some big ones in there. Um, I will be going back to Grafham again soon. Give that a go. Um, do enjoy getting out in a boat. I must stop saying um in my videos. What the heck is it with saying um? Um, quite not. I just did it again. Quite a nice morning. A uh, couple of degrees above freezing. It's about three or four degrees, I think, at the moment. It's set to get a little bit colder later. They're saying that there's a slight northerly wind, although at the moment it's absolutely dead calm. Um, considering it's been really, really hard frost and whatever at the moment. Um, oh God, arming again. There's no sign of a frost, uh, so that hopefully will work to my advantage. I've, I've got a feeling it should be quite a good day today. Okay, here I am. Black Dyke. Right, I'm a floating setup. I've got an Apps blood worm. Well, I've got two of them actually. Two Apps blood worms. If I can get that there, I don't know if you can see that. Or a wiggly worm, that one I think that is. That's the Apps. And a little orange blob. And on my sinking line, I've got a snake. And a cat's whisker. Last time I was here, this was covered in thick frost. So I'm still going to assume it's slippery because I do not want to trip into the um, lake. Not now or at any stage. Okay, I've remembered to bring my landing out with me this time. Having last time left it with the rest of my stuff and then getting a fish. Which was not very clever. And what I'm going to do, this top fly, I'm going to use this as a bung. So I'm just going to put a bit of a quink on it or whatever. Just make it super floaty. Um, say quink, I mean, I don't mean quink. I mean gink, that's it. I knew it was something like that. Quink is ink, isn't it? Pop some of that on the back of my hand. That'd be like an indicator. Bung flight. Apparently, a lot of traditionalists don't like the bung, it's just not fishing. I sort of think, well, it's no different to watching the end of your floating line. It just means if you've got not brilliant eyesight, and my eyesight luckily is fairly good for distance, but there will come a time that I can't see properly and that worked very well. Oh, it will start with a relatively short cast. Well, I invested in three more batteries for my GoPro 8, so I've now got five batteries for this because I chunted through them the other day in who well, I had um no, have I got five or I've got six? I've got six batteries for it now. Because I had three, and the other day I got through them in about three and a half hours. It was a cold day, admittedly, but absolutely whizzed through them. So now I've got six, so that should cover that. And GoPro 4 over there, I've got five for that one. So, in general, I should be able to cover most of the six hour fishing day. About as much as you get at the moment, just because of daylight and what have you. I was a little bit late setting up as well. Got here on time, but then everything seemed to go wrong while I was setting up. <clears throat> More haste, less speed. I was uh, when you turn up. Oh, there we go. When you turn up fishing, I don't know why, but you just get a little bit excited. Or I do. Not a big fish, but a fish. Good start. And nice to know that they're about. Now that was on the lowest, whoopsie daisy, of the blood worms. Woken up now. Have you woken up, mate? Quite a nice fish. If I land it. 
that will be tea. Enjoying the tray at the moment. I might do a catch and cook. Um, in my early years, I'd just get a trout and gut it and then put butter inside, wrap it up in foil, put a bit more butter and um, stick it in the oven for a short period of time, cook it that way and then eat it off the bone. But I must admit, I'm not, I like a meal where you can just stick it in your gob and you're not thinking, oh hello, I've got a mouthful of bones here. So um, I fill it, fill it them now. Totally boneless fillets. Bread crumb them mainly. Oopsie daisy, here we come boy. Into the net, into the net, there we go. Not a monster, but it means I'll get some tea. Yeah, nothing big, but it'll, it'll eat well later. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's have a little look. So he was taken on the blood worm, the lower of the two. Actually, I'm going to let him go, I think. I am, you're not a very big one. It's your lucky Let's pop him back. Guys in over there. Nice one. But a fish, nonetheless. No, no, no. Yeah. You fishing it static, like on a bung? Yeah. Yeah. I've found it seems to work really well in this corner. I've tried it all around, and it doesn't. You know. Yeah. Well, I think this corner in general just seems to have a lot of fish. Yeah. Apparently this is a shallow shallow corner, so I don't know if it warms up a bit quicker or I don't know what it is, but apparently it's shallow compared to the rest of the lake, so. There we go. Thought I was seeing things at first. <laughs> Funny enough, I put a yellow shrimp on with a beaded head and it's taken on that. Whoopsie daisy. That's not too bad, about pound three quarters I reckon. This one I will be keeping. <clears throat> right. So 
let's have a look. Nice rainbow. Took on that beaded yellow shrimp. And you can see it there. Yes, I've got the yeah, got a sort of a, a it's not a bung fly, but I've got a floating fly nearest the fly line, and then um, a beaded yellow shrimp. And uh, to be fair, it was it was on its way down; it was dropping, so I'd only just cast out. You can go hours with nothing, two casts in a row, a bit like <laughs> it's strange. There we go, two casts in a row, two fish. One thing I learned off YouTube is make up spools with your teams of flies ready to go. So as I was saying, if you have these all ready to go, and I'll put this, this is the one I was just using. Okay, so I've just wound that back up, done. I can get that back out and get fishing with it again in minutes if I want to. I'm not having to tie on three three um, sets of flies each time I want to change my leader. Um, I, th I think it's a really good idea. I can't see a downside to it. Whoa, yes. <laughs> I actually saw that come in and take the fly. No, I took that off. I've now got, whoa. That is, depending on which one it's on, I think it's on the app's bloodworm again. Yeah, he absolutely nailed that. Definitely wanted it. Yeah. <clears throat> it's, it's probably, again, scraping two pound, I reckon. Would you believe I've managed to, I, I lost a leader earlier. It got caught around a, um, a reed. Well, I've now managed to hook that. So I'm in limbo here. I can't even bring the fish closer. All right. Well, I might well lose it now. No, well, it's, no. <laughs> Bugger. Uh, that's alright, I was going to let it go because I've got my two now. Jesus. Yeah, but what I'm wondering is if it's the fish that I caught attached to my leader still stuck. Do you know what I mean? I haven't got any welly boots. Well, you need waders, I reckon. It is down. I can see it. I can actually see it. It is the fish. It's still attached to my line. It is literally, well you can see where all that um, cloudy water is, yeah? Uh, I reckon if you have a little poke around here, it, it, it'll fly up out of the water, well it'll kick up almost straight in front of you now. If you put the net down there somewhere, you'll probably disturb it. But I, it was flashing and um, it's definitely still caught on my line, I think. Yeah, there. Well done. I reckon if you back out with that, you'll bring everything with it. Yeah. All right, let's let him go. All right, well, that's a interesting way of catching a fish, I suppose. 
least he'll go free again. Come on, buddy. Let's see where you're hooked. Yep. <laughs> I just speeded up my retrieve. I thought I'd just try a really quick jerky retrieve. Yeah, again, I think it's on the shrimp again. I think. I'll know in a minute. See, I tell a lie, it's on the apps. It's on the blood worm, actually. Yeah. That's the best one yet. That's a good two pound, that one. It's a nice fish. Yeah, he's fat. Oh. Number five. Oh, he's a chunky monkey. A chunky fella. Actually, I think the hook's come out, which is very helpful. Okay, this is the one. I feel lucky on this one. Feel lucky. Yeah, I feel lucky. Come on. <laughs> I gotta to talk to myself more often. I literally was saying, do you feel lucky? Yeah, I feel lucky. And the line went out. Again, that's on the shrimp. They certainly do. No, I have got a load of killer shrimp. I, I was even thinking of putting one of them on earlier, but um, it's just got a little beaded head just to make it sink. Um, the killer shrimp that I had, they, they're not beaded, so I thought I just wanted to get a bit deeper. <laughs> Say again? Does it look like a flailing It does really, yeah, it's quite small. Um, and it's sort of um, peachy colour. I mean, two of them that I had earlier were on a yellow one. Um, but this is slightly more of a natural colour, I suppose. They're getting bigger. <laughs> okay, so this has got to be the end of the video. I'm gonna fish on for another half an hour, but I've got through six of my batteries today. Unbelievable. Um, caught seven fish. Uh, it's been pretty good. It's been getting better as the day's gone on. Uh, hopefully I'll catch a few more now. Trouble is, I won't be able to film it. So um, yeah, this is uh, me saying goodbye from Black Dyke Fishery. Uh, it's second of Got it. It's right. Second of January, isn't it? Yeah. Cripes. Yeah. Twenty twenty one. Okay.